the fan dance. Let me introduce you to, if you don't already know, to what the fan dance is by reading the opening paragraph of a welcome email I received after I entered and paid my entry fee. To gauge the importance we assign to mountain safety, a degree of context is required. In the summer of 2013, three soldiers attempting the reserve format of SAS selection died in the Brecon Beacons near the summit of Penny Fan, hence why it's called the fan dance Penny Fan. Two more candidates were hospitalised with serious heat-related illnesses. January 2013, an army captain died of hypothermia on the summit of Penny Fan. These men were all exceptionally fit, highly trained and had already undergone at least six months of navigational and mountain fitness training in addition to their existing military backgrounds. Plus I include it as a way of highlighting that this event, in their own words, is not a participation event. It is an authentic military timed race to the finish over a really, really tough course. The fan dance. If you don't know what the fan dance is or what it involves then please go and check out my first video that I made a few months ago now. I go into a lot more detail in that video. However, I will say that the fan dance is a 24k route march over Penny Fan in the Brecon Beacons. I should at some point do some vlogging I think, considering I'm not going to be able to do much of it in a minute. The fan dance is part of the SAS UK Special Forces selection test. Unbelievably, this is one of the last tests that the SAS candidates have to complete as part of a series of gruelling tests for selection. All the organisers are definitely expeditory. <laughs> this is much of a, a challenge to get through the banter when you register as it is to complete the actual task. That's also not the end of it for them. They also have to beat four hours and 10 minutes. That's the cutoff time. And they have to come in under this time or they get booted off the selection process. That's it, they're not through. However, we are in the beautiful Brecon Beacons on our way to the footpath that starts to trek up to Penny Fan. This is gonna be fun, guys. This is gonna be fun. Now, the mandatory kit list for this event is extensive, and I mean extensive. And I have ensured that my bag is 35 pounds plus food and water. And I will say that this weight here that you can see on screen didn't yet include my food and water. When I eventually get going and after my official weigh-in with the DS at registration, my bag was just under 45 pounds. I made sure I didn't go over the minimum requirements. I didn't want to carry more than I had to. So I took my obligatory selfie with the famous red phone box that marks the start line of the event and the course. The footpath leading up to Penny Fan is just beyond the gate behind the phone box. And I will say that it's very misleading at this point as it looks simple, bordering on the mundane. Let me say now, in the calm before the storm, this course and this event is anything but simple and it is definitely definitely not mundane. We all stood around waiting for everyone to turn up. There was a mixture of clean fatigue, those doing this without a 45 pound weight on their back, and those that were load bearing, me included. Just to hark back to the first email I got, I am not exceptionally fit, I am not highly trained, and I have not undergone any navigational or mountain fitness training in addition to my already non-existent military background. I am an ex-fatty who specialised in eating and drinking and now thinks that he's above average fitness levels and weight loss is enough to get him through this ordeal. Welcome to this week's video.